Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy TJ. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone is well. The channel is popping off. I flipped five thousand dollars into fifteen thousand in my last video. Make sure to check it out on my channel. Subscribe if you are new and turn on notifications because I'm going to be uploading every other day on the main channel. Also, check out the reacts. TJ reacts. It is going off on there. One video every three days, and I react to other traders in the industry. Link in description. Today we are talking about how to become a profitable trader, what you need to know in trading Forex when you're starting off, or maybe you're even been training for a year or two and you're kind of getting nowhere. And we're just gonna go over the basics. Probably you might even know this, but not take action and that is the problem. So with trading, it can be very emotional, especially when you're in and out of trades all the time. And that's a, that's a one big problem that beginners make. They're constantly entering in trades left, right and center. For example, I get people messaging me, okay, it's Tuesday, Tuesday morning, market's been open for 24 hours, maybe 30 hours. I'm getting people messaging me, are you not trading? Why are you not trading? You don't have to trade every second of every single day of five trading days in a week. You can take a relaxation break, like you don't have to trade. And that's another big thing, like get your analysis, figure out on the markets, on the charts, where you wanna take your position, wait for it to come in and then enter a lot of people fomo which is fear of missing out into the markets which means that you're going to get worse entry you're going to take a few sls beforehand and then that's even if your trade is correct you know your trade might be wrong your analysis might be wrong and then you've taken like three four l's in one day your mind is three four percent and that's if you risk manage as well if people aren't risk managing they're going to be down like 25 percent of their account size so one big thing is is what i do is I'll look at the charts, be like, okay, gold's probably gonna sell here down to this level. So I won't catch the sells, okay? I'm not gonna catch them sells. But if it does and I'm right, then that gives me confirmation to enter my buys because that was my plan, you know? And a lot of people would enter the sells and then the buys and it, that's over trading, just relax. You, if you trade once in a week, it doesn't matter, you know? If you make 2%, 5%, that's perfect, you're in profit. You had a million dollar account and you made one percent ten thousand dollars would you really care about trading for the rest of the week no so when it's a smaller size account or you're trying to complete these challenges just take it slow obviously you can do 0.01 lot size if you're taking the challenges to get your trading days up you don't actually have to risk one percent every single day on the trade and you know it's an emotional thing it's an emotional entry and that's what it's called and that's where a lot of people go running trading so if you are emotionally entering your trades you're looking at your meta trade and you're seeing like 20 plus trades in a month basically or if you're looking at it and you see like 20 plus trades in a day 10 plus trades in a day five plus trades in a day you are trading incorrectly so you need to sort that out and one way to do that is by getting your analysis seeing okay it's gonna sell but i'll enter here i won't enter there because you know, you just, you're just kind of FOMOing in because the markets may not do what you think it's gonna do. And then you're gonna take more losses than needed. Basically, on moving on to that subject, the risk management factor, a lot of people don't risk manage. I don't get why no one risk manages. It makes no sense. That is the whole part of trading. When I started, no one taught me risk management. You know, I was in the shit group, so, cause I was like 18 years of age. They were like, yeah, use 1.0s. I'm using 1.0s on a 500 pound account thinking that you know, what's what's good, what's good? And then when I lose, I'm like, damn, them losses are big. How can I even maintain the account? And that's a big thing, you can't maintain the account if you're not using risk management. You use 1% risk, you've got 100 trades to lose. You're never, even if you can't trade, you are never gonna lose 100 trades in a row. So when we're talking about risk management, we need to move on to the SL. Now, obviously it's up to you what SL you do, but this is a different type. This is called managing your SL, emotionally moving your SL. So when the trade's going the wrong way in drawdown, a lot of people like to move the SL and all that does is take a further loss because they'll keep moving it, keep moving it. I've seen some people have a 200 pip SL on gold and you're like, bro, oh, I thought it was gonna come back in. No, just let it go, let it go, let it go. Get the trade out of there, close that trade with the SL being here and just move on to another day for another trade. It doesn't matter, it isn't that deep. You guys need to understand that. And uh, yeah, managing your SL as well. So say if it's in profit, you move SL to entry, or if it's in really good profit, like 100 pips, 
scale it to plus 20 pips. And then worst case, you're taking 1% on the trade. Or if your account's in drawdown, then you move your SL, get your account back up to profits. And that's a big thing. Profit, profit, profit is important. Even if your trade's running plus 60 pips and you want to hold to 100 pips, but you're minus 2%, just take the plus three percent. You're in profit now by a percent. You don't have to hold the trade. For example, yesterday we caught sells and I'm catching buys at 18.25, but we caught sells at 18.41. Now these sells, my TP was like 18.26, 18.27. I closed for plus six percent, put my buy limit on, and it went to bed. And I was like, I'm not even gonna wait for it to hit TP. It did actually hit TP, but I was like, I'm not gonna wait for it because I'll just take the profit now had a bad week last week so let's start this week good up six percent trade running in profit now for them buyers my analysis was correct and now we're moving in profit and that's the that's the beauty of trading the more you trade the better experience you you are gonna gain it's, it's like anything okay you can't start a job and be great at the job straight away it takes time and the thing is with trading it's not even about the charts it's about self-development it's your psychology it's how you handle yourself in pressured situations it's it's what your views are with money, you know. If, you, if you're if using your own money live account and you know, and you're getting emotional because the trades are like going the wrong way and stuff like that, you could literally self-destruct. And I swear everyone does this at one point in their trading career. They'll self-destruct, keep losing, blow the account, and then they'll have to start from scratch again. And it's kind of like a rebuild thing. So to get over the rebuild phase, you risk manage, you know, use the SLs to your advantage, scale your SL if it's in profit, move the SL to entry so it's risk free, risk manage as well. And yeah, just make sure you trade smartly and correctly. Big thing with me when I started off is uh, I was basically following the wrong people. So you guys can do your market views on other traders, see what one works best for you and then go from there. And it's consistency too. In the end of the day, when they send the trade, you need to get the same entries. So therefore, I advise everyone to look at the entry position when someone sends a trade. For example, 1825 entry, it doesn't come to 1825, but you enter anyway, and it's at 1827. And then your SL is at 1823. That's a 40 pip difference in terms of if it hits a sell, 20 pips from the entry. Now that's, that's already 1% if you're using a 20 pip sell, which is gonna have a massive negative effect on your account overall because you're getting worse entries so you set limit set the limit check the entry set the limit it doesn't matter if you miss a trade it does not matter you're gonna be here tomorrow you'll be here for the next week it's that simple guys if you need to get a challenge account 50 percent off they're gonna be ending it soon it's only for my community link in the description the forex funder get your accounts now obviously join up the free trades we sent that sell in the free trades and i sent the buyers because we had a poor week last week so i do give i make sure everyone's eating let's go baby but yeah it's been your boy tj much love on the channel support as i said make sure to check out tj fx reacts as well until next time stay blessed trade safely don't blow your accounts and i'll catch you in the next one